Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Thor Darkchild, and welcome back to Let's Play Time Spinner. Last time we did one more side quest, and then we opened up a new area, a laboratory, but decided to do some of the final side quests before her we continued onward. Also, we got ourselves a new dash ability. So, what was I doing? Oh yes, uh, with this new ability, I'd like to see what other new areas on the map we'd like to open up, so to speak. So let's dash over to some of the areas. Ow. Once we get those areas completely uh, shown, we will move on. And the first one I want to go over to is to the entrance of the uh, underground. Right here. That was easy enough. Now I gotta go back to the surface and fill out this area where my marker is. I'm not too much worried about my uh, damage until we get back to the main story. So any damage I get right now, it's pretty much small potatoes. A secret under this waterfall. Nice. A pendulum? Is that an equipment? Yes, it is. But not worth wearing. Unfortunately. Maybe if I got it earlier in the game after getting the water mask, but other than that, not really. And elemental beads! Nice! Now let's see, where else needs to be uh, checked? Where else on my map? Ah uh, yes, that part in the underground uh, dungeon where we fought the Maw. I can dash back to the base and warp over there. Yeah, that'll do, just to save time. We pretty much took care of everyone's side quest, except for one. The Alchemist. Hopefully I can find it while we're checking out new areas on the map here. With the enemies in the new air, with the exception of the new area that we opened up, I'm pretty much OP with my sword. And don't worry, I've been given a fair try trial with each of my other orb weapons as well. And I think I'll switch familiars for this one. Let's get the demon back out, he needs the experience. Just not here. Alright, that was what we needed to get by this gap? Nice. Gold necklace. Gold ring. Essence crystal. Elemental beads. Um, let's see, 99%. Where's the point one percent that I haven't done yet in this map? 
I'll probably look for it later off screen for now. I'm just gonna run to the nearest uh, warp point and take a look around in this area again, only this time in the present. version. I haven't been there yet? Well, let's look around there briefly, and then we'll head back to the uh, laboratory. Oh, I can't go in there yet. I need a key card of A clearance to get in there. So I guess we'll put this on hold and I'll warp back to the laboratory and take on the next boss, whoever he is over there. We're in the present, so let's head over there now. Let's get on with it. And because of all the health upgrades, and I'm at level 94, our health is pretty much at max, but... We... I feel like I still need to level up for... for some reason. way. Oh, we already defeated that. Okay. That's not a secret. Okay. Do I have the, uh... Yes, I have the Oculus Ring on now, and there's no secret there. Okay. So, we just gotta take the long way around to keep going. Or maybe not. Go through this way. We can go this way now. And did we go all right? We did this, yeah, for a side quest. That got him. Uh, what's to the room in the lower right? Experiment number 13. Something tells me I'm gonna need to read all these documents, memories, and uh, downloads that I've been collecting throughout this game. Oh, you bastard. Now let's move. And hopefully there is a save point close by. That way I can heal before the next boss battle. Oh, a secret! Our glass filled. Max up again. And there's the boss door. And there's the save point. Just what we needed. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to the dragon familiar in case they switch out my current familiar for the dragon for some reason. Ah, you must be Lunaris, yes? Welcome to my laboratory. And who the hell are you? Oh, 
I had hoped my repro reputation would precede me. Pity. I am the man behind all that Lockham has accomplished. I'm fairly sure Queen Elena got some of the credit. <laughs> a weakling and a coward. Her going back to her loyalties and her on her deals. Trying to get rid of us as demons she summoned. Unsuccessfully, I might add. What do you mean? Oh, my poor naive girl. They never met anyway. They never went away. Not really. They've ensured Lockheim's rise in power. Even as they form a chaos in our realm. And I won't have that. Order must be absolute. Science will replace their uh, obsolete powers. And then Luckheim will finally be free in a way Alina could never accomplish. But that's never here nor there. That's neither here nor there. You're the time messenger from the backwards Windira. It's a pleasure to meet you. Like what I've done to the place? I finally got it working. No thanks to you. And I'll be trying it into an experimental portal we've constructed. One that can teleport us anywhere. With the two combined, we'll be unstoppable. You can't use that. You haven't e you haven't even trained. <laughs> I've trained all my life. The sacrifice you'd be making, do you know how it works? How it erases you from history? A pity, yes, but a small price to pay. I've already sacrificed my humanity to make Lockheim strong. Let my mortal morals Morales slip for the good of the nation. Good? Hardly. What do you know of good and sacrifice anyway? You've never seen true power. Not like you could achieve. I've sacrificed everything to come here. To stop Nuvius. Ah, of course. Your mother. What? Oh, Lunas, have you missed me? What trick is this? No trick. I love you. But you love me. What? Abandon me to Nefaris? To death, my own daughter, after all I've sacrificed. No, that's not... You failed me. No, that's not you, Ganza! Oh, we are so gonna make you pay for playing with her emotions, dude. And it looks like my blades are the perfect weapon for him. If I'm actually touching him. Right now, I don't care how much damage he's doing. We got him! That was quick. You are strong. And you're a bastard. <coughs> Says the girl with no father. Ah, but that's not true, is it? What do you mean? You must know we never cured the bleakness. Even once since we reconquered heard Villa and gained access to their plasma. We would never her be the same. A longing in our people, leading us to explore the stars, quick to anger, quick to melancholy. These are the legacies of that sickness. <coughs> and the Lakami blue hair, of course. Sound familiar? 
You must realize by now. <coughs> the same man you want dead. Our glorious empire, Nephius, is your father. I suppose that makes sense. I don't care. I have no love for him. He attacked my clan. He killed my mother. He will die. <coughs> Very well. Just do me one favor. Why would I? <coughs> don't let my work have gone to waste. When you take the throne as the rightful heir, rid us of the demons once and for all. Okay. Security card A. I use security access. The door I could open with this. It's time to end this. Oh, it would be, yes. But I'm just gonna fill out the map a bit here. To this warp room. Then... Now that we got the, uh, security card A, there are two places to revisit. One being the library. <laughs> Other way. Ooh, interesting enemies. Let's see, uh... Do we have any orbs that'll work for taking care of those? That'll do. It'll cost me to use up all of my uh, magic, but it'll have to do for the ones that are on the ceiling. Time Spinner Gear 2. This looks familiar. This is a part of the time spinner. One of the turning gears. That's why I went back so far. This wasn't attached. There were supposed to be three of these to the calibrate how far the back on the time spinner goes. Well, too late now. They're nice. If you find all three, you could tune it properly. So? Could do what you meant to do from the start. Go to the, a different time. I could go back to before Nuvius has ever found Windira. I could actually save them. Heck, with the gears, I could go anywhere. Just need to find the other two. Easier said than done. Even if I can't find them, I can still kill Nevaeus. Okay, that was one. Now, I think there was a door back in the laboratory that we weren't able to open because uh, we didn't have that key card. So let's quickly go back there. this floor, I think. Alrighty. Let's go. Those things are disturbing. Experiment number 11. Now then, what have we got in here? These things again! Another 
Another time gear. Time spinner gear one. Another turning gear from the time spinner. Just one more and I could save Windiria. I could save my clan. You've been changing time a lot, Lunaris. That's my job. It's my duty. I can't kill... I can kill Nevarius now. Thanks to... Who the changes I've made. Everything you do changes the timeline. And changes the future. You've seen the efforts of it. Yeah. Luckheim here has changed. It's grown weaker. And those statues... Who's in things? All the changes are good. But you can achieve your goal. You can't stop. I know that. But... There are forces in the universe besides you humans. Like the demons and like you, right? Just be careful. Some of them don't like when you change things. A lot is sacrificed. Our dreams are getting full. What does that mean? Whatever. Do I have a warp stone? Uh, let's see, do I? I do not. Okay, so we're gonna have to take a walk the long way. Good thing I got plenty of magic on me. Let's get out of here. I think that's all we can do in this place. Ow. First, make a quick stop at the uh, safe point that way. Actually, no, there's one close by in the next area we're going. Here we go. This is it. Watch out for the spores. I'm not worried about the poison at the moment. I got plenty of antidote. As for now, we can replace, uh, with the demon. He could use the experience, and what better than in a place we haven't been to yet? If he knows how to move quicker. Ow. Bird statue, and it's no good for our defenses, so no point in it equipping it. down below. A broken save point. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Now I'm curious if that's the same thing for the past, since this is the present. Only one way to find out after I do this place. Okay, go back so I can fill out the rest of the map, mostly above us. Level up. Nice. 95, I think. Nope, 96. I forgot I leveled up during the boss fight. So far, so good. I just need to take on the enemies with the ability I have equipped it so I can regain some of my health. I'll completely recover it when we get to a save point. Hello, a galaxy stone! Which means... Oh boy. We need to move fast. And use a uh, healing item so I don't accidentally kill myself. End up using up all my jerky for that. Now I know for a fact there might be a... A, uh... A warp room close by, in this direction. Let's finish this side quest. Now, I think I found it. Let's see. Yes! This is perfect! Where did you find it? Deep in a dark, scary cave. Wow, thank you so much. Hunch, I have the perfect use for this. Hey, everyone's getting together tonight. Sykes says he's cooked up something special. And with Exum recovering, and Elena declaring peace, all the work that you've done for us, else we thought we'd have a little celebration in your honor. I'd like if you joined us. I mean, we all would. A celebration? Yeah, of course. Good. So, of course, I had to say something. Of course. What did you do? I couldn't help myself. Oh, I looked them dead in the eye, face straight, and said, 
Yes, Commander, I would be happy to grease your pull. Okay, that felt really wrong even while I'm reading that. I never knew army training could be so erotic. I uh, don't believe every word I heard he could never her have kept a straight face saying that. Even then he had to do extra chores for a week. Anyway, it was around when I realized that I wasn't fit for real military work and found myself in the kitchens more than not. Again, mostly as punishment. I remember Commander Relius uh, well. A, a stoogy old, old boar, her, but a good soldier. We'll never see him, see them again, will we? We have each other, at least. That smells amazing, sick. Sec. Oh no, haven't you learned? If you're going to be in a relationship with sex, you can never praise his cooking. You'll never hear the end. Is that what pushed you away, Ram? I thought it was my humor. That didn't help. You two were together? Oh, a couple of years ago. Oh, it never amounted to much. Ram couldn't handle me. Oh, please. Don't start with that. Harrisel, still, haven't forgotten me, forgiven me for breaking up with you. Hey, that's not what I haven't forgiven you. It's not that I haven't forgiven you. I just thought you were cute together. Besides, there's so much, you're so much easier to deal with when you can get your rocks off. Okay, that felt wrong reading that as well. So, you two were together too? When he was with Sykes? Sure. Her Ramita's has got a lot of room in his heart, as he says. It's true. He likes having other partners, but makes sure I never feel neglected. Plus, I'm not much too into sex. It works for both of us. Many members of my clan have multiple partners, too. We are, or were, a small group. The mothers would often take up multiple lovers, often from outside of the clan, to grow our number. I suppose for us, Polamori, he was a necessity, but it wasn't mandatory. Well, it's basically a necessity for, for me, too. Like I said, he's not- he's much easier to deal with when he can get laid. So, Lunatus, does that mean you're Polymorous, too? Well, I grew up knowing it's a possibility, but no. Swing and a miss, Ram. Well, that wasn't why I was asking, damn it. Oh, I know, but I couldn't resist. Besides, it's pretty clear Lunatus is not into men. Don't make assumptions, Sykes. I actually like both women and men. Oh, sorry, Lunatus. You're right, shouldn't assume. Apology accepted. Anyway, there were a few boys in, my, in the clan I was interested in. For the most part, I prefer women, romantically. In the clan, relationships between women were a bigger deal, though. Was it forbidden? Oh, not at all. It was fairly normal, seen as a way to combine two houses into one. Mothers who married their other clan women were often very powerful leaders. However, my duty was a type warrior meant that I needed to stay unattached. A warrior needs focus, I approve. Oh? But really, I'm not open to multiple partners right now because I want to focus on one special person. 
cute. Yeah, you're all adorable. Hey, don't tease us! <laughs> Sorry, Nell. The feast is almost ready! This is amazing! It came from that magic meat heat machine Lunatus found? Magic meat machine. Maybe one of those could solve remedy... Remita's problems. I could use one of those myself. Oh, you already have one! It's true, though. This wouldn't be possible without Lunatus. None of this would. We may be stuck here, but I've never been so hopeful about my prospects. To Lunatus! To Lunatis! Hey, Lunatis. Hmm? I wanted to show you something. Come with me. Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, it is. That crystal you bought me. You brought me. I made it into a pair of earrings. That's amazing, Nell. It's for you. It will help keep you safe. You've done so much for us. For me. I couldn't bear to see you hurt, so... You could have given this to me at the camp. I wanted to be alone. With you. If that's okay. Of course it's okay. Okay. Oh, uh, the item they gave us. Galaxy Earrings. Lovely crested, crafted galaxy earrings. Increased orb experience gain. Nice. I'll use that off screen as I'm leveling up the, uh, my weapon orbs. Now. As for... All the, sub all the side quests have been completed. All that's left now is to take on, I think, if I had to guess, one boss that's in the present, and then actually two bosses, I think, that are in the present. And I gotta fill out more of the map, too. I mean, what is that part there? I better fill that out before I sign off. So let's go do that. After I save. There we go. Now then. Let's see, where was it? Was it here? Where was that spot I missed? Oh, it was in the present. Almost right place, wrong time period. Oh. Can I get up there if I'm using the, uh, the light orbs? Probably, but... That'll waste all of my, uh... I need an, uh, I need to get a new ability to get up there, don't I? Probably. So, what's that spot right there? I'll fill out that area instead. Then I'll call it a day. Let's hurry, Lunatus, and see what that is. Am I in the right area? Yes. Yes, I am.
I could have just warped here. Oh well. Oh, is this a spot that I missed underwater? How was that possible? I could have sworn I checked all the spots here when I got the uh, ability to breathe underwater. It must have responded after I, uh... Must have become undone after I died some at some point. That probably explains a lot. Okay, so I think I'll end it here for now, folks. So, off-screen, I am gonna be trying to fill out any other spots that I missed on the map, particularly in the past. So, when we come back, we'll be finishing up from right here, and then probably continue on from uh, this warp point over here. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play Time Spinner. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you want, ring the bell to be notified when our next video comes out. We do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally Saturday and Sundays. Till the next video, this is Sora Darkchild, signing off. Have a good night, folks.